हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेटस कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर क्लाइमेट एज इन द लास्ट चैप्टर लास्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्लाइमेट चैप्टर वी बेसिकली डन दैट व्हाट इज क्लाइमेट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट एंड व्हाट आर द कंडीशंस हु कंट्रोल्स क्लाइमेट्स they were the latitude altitude pressure and winds distant from the sea ocean currents and relief now today uh, we will do the indian monsoon the word monsoon is taken from the arabic word mausim which means a special type of wind so monsoon is actually a special type of winds which are found in india the monsoons are basically experienced in the tropical area roughly between 20 degree north to 20 degree south latitude now to understand the mechanism of the monsoon the following facts are important now these following facts are first of all the differential heating and cooling of land and water as we know that the water or sea take more time to become warm in day and similarly it take more time than land to become cool while land immediately become warm hot and similarly in the night it become cold so there is a difference between heating and cooling of land and water because of this we can see the pressure low pressure uh, which are basically high in the land area during the day time or in the summer seasons while it is low in the night time or we can see the cold uh, winter season in the ocean so because of that the air goes towards the land area from the water area or we can say from high pressure belt to the low pressure belt area the second thing which we see is the is the shift of itcz now what is this itcz it means it is the inter tropical convergent zone that is the zone uh, if we see means on earth it's a zero degree equator so it is a zone which is from 5 degree north to 5 degree south it is also known as the monsoon trough during the monsoon season so this also this is also one of the important fact of the monsoons because it's a zero degree here we see this is the area of itc z area but during the summer season when there is a low pressure in the hemisphere during the summer season when there is a low pressure belt in the northern hemisphere at that time this pressure belt moves towards the northern side similarly because this time the high pressure belt in the southern hemisphere but on other hand during the winter season in india or the northern hemisphere there is a high pressure belt here but in the southern hemisphere it's summer season so there is a low pressure belt in southern hemisphere because of that this itcz moves towards the 
towards southern sides so as we see here normally it is in between 5 degree to 5 degree north and south but during the summer period it goes upward or it is between 0 degree to 10 degree while during the winter season it moves towards the south side and it was between the 0 degree to 10 degree south because of this during the summer season this also play an important role for the movement of the low pressure belt in the northward side now the next one as we know that there is a just opposite relation between the temperature and pressure if temperature is high then pressure is low and if pressure is low then the temperature is high so if you see here in the African continent here is the Madagascar region while this is India and Southeast Asia because of the presence of the high pressure belt in the Madagascar region or in the Mauritius region here the, uh, the presence of high pressure area of the east of Madagascar approximately at it is 20 degrees south over the Indian Ocean the intensity and position intensity and the position of this high pressure area affects the Indian monsoon obviously and on other hand if we see uh, this is the, our fourth point which is the high pressure felt in the east of Madagascar on other hand as we know that in the north of India it is the Tibetan plateau region and in this Tibetan plateau region in the summer season the rocks become very hot and because of this we see a low pressure belt in the north of Pakistan or in the Tibetan plateau region so because of this we see that the pressure belts uh, sorry we see a low pressure here and the high pressure is here so the winds moves from high pressure to low pressures which carry clouds with them and because of this uh, we see a heavy rainfall in India during this summer season so our fifth one point is the Tibetan plateau gets intensely heated one of the the last one facts which which also play an important role is the presence of the jet stream these jet streams moves very fastly from west to east to the north of the Himalayas and the presence of the tropical easterly jet streams over the Indian Peninsula during the summer seasons which play an important role so all these six are facts play an important role in the Indian monsoons so before coming to monsoon let us we have to understand one more important thing which is in the southern hemisphere here in the pacific ocean we see one of the important current that is the Humboldt current or we can see the Peru current it's a cold current because of this current near the Peru country this region we see a lot of plank, 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 planklets fishes and a bio, biodiversity 
in the six years continuous, which is called La Nino. But during the but in after every seventh year, the conditions were just opposite, and that particular period is called or the seventh year is called El Nino. This El Nino also play an important role in the world climate or also in the Indian monsoons. When this El Nino occurs, that is at least seven years after, we see a lot of floods, droughts, storms, cyclones in the world. This El Nino also affects the conditions of monsoon in India. When there is La Nino, then we see a normal monsoon in India, but during the El Nino time, we see not a normal monsoon somewhere we see a very heavy rainfall which is above the normal or average and some part of India we see a very low rainfall or drought in India. So this animal also play an important role in Indian monsoon. After the summer period we see a time when a special types of airs were there in India. In the western part, that is in this region, we see a special type of rain fall which is called local rain Lu. This Lu occurs during the summer seasons. These loo are very hot waves, air waves. On the other hand, sometimes we found pre-monsoon rainfall also in India. The places basically where we found pre-monsoon rainfalls are like in this area, Bengal area. Here, this pre-monsoon rainfall is called Kal, Kal Besaki rainfall. Uh, as we know that Kal means a very destructive rainfall. And during this rainfall people face a very heavy rainfall with storm which create a lot of destruction in these regions. Similarly we also see pre monsoons in the pre monsoon rainfall in the southern part of india especially in the andhra pradesh and this part and this rainfall is called mango shower because mangoes were on the tree during this time one hand, because of this pre-monsoon shower, especially these are in the Kerala, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh regions, they they help in the early ripening of mangoes and are often referred to the mango showers. And because of this summer season, a low pressure belt was occurred in. Pakistan and also in the Tibetan region which attract the air comes from south to, uh, and obviously here is the Indian Ocean and this when air comes from this Indian Ocean take clouds with them and these clouds play and these clouds are responsible for more than 98% rainfall in India. Now let us start the distributions of monsoon, how monsoon starts. This is called the advancing of monsoon or in other language it is also called the rainy season. As we know on earth we see winds these are the trade winds 
Western winds and the polar winds. Similarly, here are the trade winds of southern hemisphere, west easterly winds and the polar winds. These winds are coming towards northern northern sides and because low pressure belt is here in, in India, this move towards this side because of the rotation of the earth or we can say the farrel slow and move towards India. Let us understand this here. In India, as we see here, the winds comes from the northern southern hemisphere because there is a high pressure in the southern hemisphere move towards north but because of the earth rotation its direction is not towards north but its direction is uh, towards the north eastern direct side and that is why this monsoon is also called the this advancing monsoon is also called the southwest monsoon now you are thinking that the airs are going towards the northeast and why this is called southwest monsoon actually whenever we name any wind then it is named on then it is named that from which direction those winds are coming here we see that these winds are coming from the south this is the southern part and the western part of india and that is why this is called the southwest monsoon and this mo basically this monsoon enter in India in the June basically in the first June it hit Kerala this first rainfall the first rainfall is also called burst of monsoon now why this is called burst of monsoon when first time there is a rainfall or the monsoon enter it is the rain which is very violent we see its violent side a uh, very large and heavy rainfall is there with thundering cloud lightning and within a few hours, one hour, two hours, we see one, uh, two to four inches rainfall. That is why this is called the burst of monsoon. As we see here, it started first of June in Kerala, then it covers the Dravid region in in the first week of June. Here is Mumbai. It entered Mumbai approximately you can say till 10th June. 10th June. One side it entered on 1st June here in Kerala and also in the northeast part of India. Now here the monsoon is divided into two parts. These winds are called इसके दो parts हो जाते हैं Arabian branch and in the east as we see here it enter in the northeastern where there is it enter in in between Garo, Jaintia and Khasi hills where it goes towards east side and western side we will not count this one side because it goes towards the Burma while here it goes towards the north of India at just parallel to the Himalayas this red arrows are the branches of Bay of Bengal branch so here the monsoon of India is divided into two parts the Arabian branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian branch of monsoon it basically hit the this 
western coast of india on the other hand this uh, bay of bengal branch hit the western uh, coast of india now how they goes towards the east and west entering india and how they come back what is called the coming back of monsoon and how this monsoon unified play a unified bond role that's we all see plus the distribution of rainfall in india in our the third and the last part of lecture climate that's all for today